Hello Rocket fans, here is a little summary from the uh, parachute testing that we did a few weeks ago. We uh, had the spaghetti monster, the hulk and the onion that we tested on that day in Odense. The uh, spaghetti monster was uh, the, uh, I think it was the final version, version 3. Uh, so uh, the third time I thought that now we had nailed the design and I was wrong again. Um, this time it uh, inflated even less than previously, uh, quite opposite of course the expectation and uh, that meant that uh, Martin had a descent speed of uh, around 270 km per hour, which is um, much higher than I had expected. I had expected something around 224 km per hour and uh, therefore I was way off. On the um, Hulk, we uh, expected a descent speed at around 37, no, 35 kilometers per hour, but we ended up measuring 37 kilometers per hour, so pretty close there, at least. And then we had the Onion, which is, uh, I would say, this time the star of the show. We expected 122 kilometers per hour. Uh, descent speed and we measured 122 kilometers per hour. So uh, with the onion, uh, where it was just a matter of confirming our expectations, we, uh, we really uh, uh, nailed it this time, I would say. On the other hand, what we saw with the onion was that there was a lot of um, oscillation above Martin. <clears throat> and most likely it's because uh, with him, uh, compared to the last time we flew with, where it was a, a slightly lighter jumper. Um, we, uh, we had a higher expected speed, meaning that the, uh, the um, wake behind him, the, the wind behind him was a little bit more disturbed because of the higher speed. So um, therefore, we, we would like to see if we can remove that oscillation by basically uh, having a longer riser that we will uh, uh, switch out uh, instead of the current one that is on the onion. And then hopefully we should uh, have removed the oscillation. Uh, and if not, then we, uh, then we have a new problem. We'll see at that time. With the um, Hulk, the main intent was to see that uh, we could control the opening sequence, and we did. So uh, therefore, we are very happy with the test this time from, from what we saw. And um, now the main question is, should we go all in and have a, uh, a test where we will test with three parachutes together in a cluster? And um, we just need to find out if we have the money to, uh, to do that or not, uh, to buy the last materials that are needed. So um, I can't say right now when or if we will do this in the near future, but it is of course planned uh, that we should do it, but, but when is, is the open question right now. For the spaghetti monster, going back to that one, um, I had added some uh, vertical ribbons to, uh, to the bottom third of the, uh, of the spaghetti monster, uh, believing that that would be what was needed. Um, and as the video shows, it's not uh, the only thing at least that should be modified. So therefore what we saw was um, even more uh, of a fluttering and absolutely no inflation above Martin uh, when we were in Odense. We saw, however, in, uh, in the Netherlands when um, Delft uh, Technical University the um, rocket team down there, there, when they tested the um, the, um, the spaghetti monster, uh, they were able to inflate it. That is, however, because the airspeed that they use is not as high as uh, when Martin leaves our plane. So therefore, the dynamics are a little bit different, and they do not necessarily scale, unfortunately. Um, but that gives us hope um, and it also matches what we have seen all, all the way through basically whenever we have 
tested the um, the spaghetti monster by throwing it out of the building next to our workshop. There we have also from the beginning seen that it inflates. So, um, so this is a matter of keeping the pressure right within the um, spaghetti monster and that's then where Ben from Valkyrie uh, Recovery Systems basically has uh, stepped in and give, given some advice. Based on his advice, I would say it, these are not his direct recommendations, but um, what we are going to do, what I am, I am going to do is to add a little bit of mosquito net in the top, in the opening, um, and at the same time I will add one or two uh, ribbons across the opening, the air vent, uh, and with them I will close up the air vent just a little bit, maybe just 10%. Um, and the idea is that by that we will uh, have a little bit of, uh, create a little bit higher air pressure within the um, the spaghetti monster, and by that uh, that should help us um, get the pressure right to to have it uh, inflate properly. At the same time, um, another trick that can help us is to add uh, some longer suspension lines or by other means extending the suspension lines that are already there. And uh, the cheaper and faster way here is uh, to um, add some risers to the existing uh, suspension lines and then bundle them up in two or four. And then by that, we will uh, increase the length uh, with maybe uh, 30 to 50%, uh, something like that. <clears throat> and that will also help in increasing the um, the pressure uh, within the um, the parachute. Perhaps also a completely new parachute will be tested soon, and that is Ben from Valkyrie uh, Recovery Systems, who has been so kind and promised to donate us a um, ring sail parachute, a full main ring sail parachute, and. Uh, Hopefully we will be able to test that and hopefully that will be uh, something we can use in the future for our project. Um, and uh, one thing is for certain, and that is uh, that uh, such a ring sail is absolutely one of the most beautiful parachutes in the world. And, uh, and I expect that to be, um, be a good side over once when that time comes. So we're looking very much forward to that. And, and thank you, Ben, for, uh, for that donation. Up for us next, hopefully I will um, soon be, uh, be able to get my, uh, my spaghetti monster Mac back from uh, Delft and uh, then I will start modifying that one and uh, also then we will um, modify the, um, the onion a little bit to, to get that to fly more stable and then sooner this summer I really hope we will be able to, um, to have another test in Orenza and um, and then we'll get another beautiful day with uh, some parachutes in the sky. See you soon again, and thank you for tuning in again again. The reason Bye. we're getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you enjoy watching these insider videos on building a space program and you would like to become an even bigger part of it, you can help us out by going over to our website www.copsum.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation. We all do this for free in our spare time, so you'd be surprised how much every little bit helps. And thank you if you feel like what we do and share is interesting.